thank you for joining with another Noonday Devotional. Tomorrow's a big day in America. President-elect Biden will become the 46th president of the United States. And he will do so in a climate like we have never, ever seen in our lives. There's such political turmoil going on, it's, it's just really, it's beyond comprehension. I was thinking about this last week when I was reading in the Bible, in the book of 1 Timothy. The Apostle Paul, in writing to Timothy, said something that really spoke to my heart, and hopefully it will speak to yours today. He said that we are to pray for those who are in authority. And you know, as I thought about that, I thought, think about who was in authority when Paul wrote that. Nero. You can't get any worse than Nero. One of the most evil rulers and leaders this world's ever known. And yet, the Apostle Paul wrote, and the Bible says that we are to pray for those in authority. Now, as I thought about that, I feel like God convicted me, and I'm going to just simply share what God convicted me, and perhaps the Holy Spirit would convict you likewise if you need that. I have made a commitment that beginning tomorrow, when President-elect Biden becomes the President of the United States, that every single day in my daily praying, I'm going to pray for not only the President of the United States, but I'm going to pray for those that are our leaders, our national leaders, certainly the President, the Vice President. But then I think about each state has a governor, each city has a mayor, we have some city council or city government in all the different cities, and we have leaders in our school systems. And so I'm really not been as diligent in praying for those in authority as the Bible says I'm to be. And I have no way of knowing, but I think one of the reasons that we have the turmoil that we have in America today is that God's people are not praying like the Bible says we are to pray. And it begins with me. I'm not, I'm not preaching a sermon to you. I'm just sharing with you my heart what the Holy Spirit convicted me. I want to encourage you. Tomorrow, a new president, new leaders, join with me every day, pushing politics aside, but praying that God will direct our leaders to lead us in the way that he would have us go. If enough good Christian people will pray, it will make a difference. God hears our prayers, and our prayers, that's where the power is. Let's pray for our leaders. Let's pray for our new president. Well, have a good rest of the day. I look forward to being with you next time.